everybody, Heather here. So today I thought that we could color this cute little Tilda with Peanut image. And this is a card kit in the store and there's still some available if you wanted to head over and grab one. And I'll put a link down in the description box. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound Solar White cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's get to coloring. So let's start off by doing a quick outline around our image. For that I'm going to use um, C0. And I'm just going to start, let's start right here in the middle of her legs. And I'm just going to take my C0 and I'm just going to quickly go all the way around my image to add a little outline. Helps her pop off the page just a little bit. And I'm usually not too careful if I get it on her. I'm not too, I'm not concerned about it because it's such a light color that when I color over the rest of her, she will, it won't show up. But if you do happen to get some on there, you can take your colorless blender and erase that. It's not a big deal. Go around her hair. Go. All the way up here. Around her cute little mouse buddy, Peanut. Get in here between his body and her hand. Color that in. And we'll go down and back down to the bottom of her leg where we can add the ground. All right, so next let's go ahead and do the ground. And for that, we're going to do W1, W0, and W00. I'm going to go ahead and start with W1. And so I never, I never just do right underneath of her feet. I kind of go up a little bit past her, my people's soles or their shoes or whatever they're standing on. And then we're just going to brush. Same with in between her feet. You want to get up in there just a little bit. And let's just brush away. Get over this side. And I always try to use my little check mark um, motion when I'm doing it. So when I go the further away from her I get, it gets skinnier out here towards the outside. Next I'm going to grab W0. And I want to go past my last color. Should get in between her feet a little bit. And you can make the ground as far or as close to her as you would like. And then W00. And then after I'm all done, I like to go back with my darkest color and add a little bit more shadow in. So I've grabbed W1. and then I leave it just like that. Next, let's go ahead and work on our skin. And for that, I'm gonna use E11, E21, E00, E000. And for our cheeks, I'm gonna use R20 and R30. And I actually, this is a new skin tone. I've added E11 onto my previous color choices. Um, it gives it a little bit more shadow. I was liking how it looks, so we're gonna try that out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with E11 first. Let's go down here and start on our leg. Let me zoom in a little bit there. I'm going to take my E11 and I'm going to use just the tip of my pin so I just get a little bit underneath the first skirt and then I'm going to go down the inside of her leg and then I do the same thing over here rest a little bit underneath the first skirt and then down the inside of her leg again and she's also got some little knee um, lines there that I'm going to just color underneath okay, and then I'm going to grab E21 and I'm going to color right over the top but I want to pull past my E11 just a little tiny bit Brushing right out here, and I'm kind of flicking like that. And let's go ahead and do this side, and again, do just a little bit past. 
I don't want it to be too dark because E21 again is still a little is still pretty dark. And then I'm going to go with E00. I'm going to cover in that kneecap. And I'm going to brush over here and just leave a little bit of white on the edge of her leg. Same with this side. Brush right over that. And then leave a little bit of white on the edge. And like so. Okay, and then I'm going to fill it in with E000. And I tend to go over the whole thing with my lightest color just to blend it all nicely together. And if I'm not liking how it blended, I would just go ahead and go back and do it again. But remember, it's going to get darker every time you do it. So let's go up here and do her hand next. So I'm going to take my E11 and let's go start over here. I'm going to go underneath of her little hand here, the bottom. And let's do the bottom of this one. And then E21. And again, touch down on top of your E11. And then pull up past just a tiny bit with this E21. And then E00. Underneath of her sleeve there a little bit and then leave a little bit of white over here on this side. And then E triple zero to fill it in. And again I go over the whole thing. Just to soften up my edges. And again, if you didn't like how light it was, you just go over it again. And then let's go up here to her face. And again, I'm gonna start with E11. I'm gonna do a little bit, she's got a little bit of her neck showing, so I'm gonna add my E11 in there a little bit, and then I'm going to add this E11 to this side of her face because it's tipped down over here, and I want it to be a little bit more darker. I'm going to come over here to where her neck is. I'm going to grab E21. I'm going to fill in her neck. There's just a tiny dab left there, and then I want to go over that E11, so I'm going to brush over the top and extend past just a little bit. But I want to bring this color around this side of her face. And then I gave her a little bit of a nose area. So I'm just going to take my E21 and I'm just going to draw a little little line in there to give her a little definition of her nose. Then I'm going to go with E00. And brush that. And brush this side. over that little nose space. And then I take E triple zero and fill the whole thing in. And I'm not worried about how blotchy it looks or that it's not blended because I'm going to add cheek color and then go over it again. So I'm going to grab R20 for my cheeks. Let's start at the edge. Out here where these cute little dots are. Like that. And then I'm going to take R30 just to flick along the edges. And then I'm going to go back with my E21. Let me tip her just a little bit more here. And I'm just going to start over here on this side and I flick right over that cheek a little bit. And then again on this side, let's go ahead and do this little cheek a little bit. And then E00. Pull that past her cheek. Pull this one past her cheek. And then E triple zero over the whole area to fill it in. And then I usually don't like how light my cheeks have become, so I go back with my R20. R30. And then my E triple zero again. And then I've kind of to lighten that little nose thing that I put on there. So I'm going to take my E21 and just add that just a little bit back in so I can see it a little bit better. 
So next, let's go do her hair and her boots. And for that, I'm going to use E25, E55, E53, and E51. I'm going to start with E55, or sorry, E25, and let's go up here and do her hair first. So I like to add, she, and she does have a hair band in here, so you want to kind of avoid that. She's got a little hair band right there. So I'm going to go with the root of her hair. I'm going to add some E25 right at the root. That. And again, I'm going to skip the hairband. I'm going to go over here and add a little bit of that on the root of this side. Like that. And then, I want to add a little bit of shadow. So down here, she's got a little dip where her hair is dipping in. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of color there. And then where her face, her hair is kind of coming out from behind her face right here. I'm going to just give that a little flick. Like so. And then her little curly cue here is curling under, so I'm going to do the bottom side of that. And then for this side over here, again, I want to do where it's coming away from her face because it's kind of pulling from behind there. So we're just going to go swish, swish, swish all the way down right next to her cheek. So you get down here to the bottom, like that. And then let's do again the bottoms of these little curly cues. And then I added a little bit right here where it looks like her hair kind of um, pulls underneath. So there's a line right here. I'm going to just go ahead and outline that line like that. And then I'm going to take my pen and just flick in a few little away from that line and kind of pull it out so it doesn't look so um, off. And then let's do that right here. Add a little bit. And let's go ahead and do just a little bit on the back sides of these little curly cues and I'm going to do right here where it kind of pulls underneath of her hair right there. Okay, so I'm liking how that looks. So next I'm going to grab E55 and we want to add right on top of it. So I'm going to go over the top of my, 50, my 25. We're going to add some 55. Remember, she's got that hairband in there, so kind of be careful. Do a few of these little curly cues. Just pulling that color away, and adding some contrast here. get up here where her roots are and this side a little bit okay I like that so next I'm gonna grab E53 and again you're gonna go right over the top of your 55 and add just a little bit more color let's pull this one up a little bit And her hair's tipped on this side, her head's tipped this way, so I'm not worried too much about leaving lots of white on that side. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take E51 to fill it in. could also leave some white in there. I just, it's not my personal preference to do that. It looks cool when other people do it. I just think when I do it, it looks ridiculous. So I always color it in. And then I always like to go back after I've done it, the whole thing and take my darkest color, which is E25, and just add a little bit more shadow back in on those some of those dark areas. And I usually extend my color. My lines go a little bit further than they went the last time. And I try to keep my pin more up and down 
so that it's just little streaky lines that I'm adding in. this side down just a little bit more like that all right so next let's go down here and do her boots and again we're going to use the hair color so I'm going to start with E25 and I'm going to go let's start on this side take my E25 bring it down here and I'm going to go ahead and use this on the sole and leave just a little bitty patch there for um my next color just so it's got a little bit of a shadow there and go down this side of her boot and then I want to do just a tiny dab down the center there just to add a little bit of shadow I'm going to do the same thing on this side and again do her sole but I'm going to leave a little bit of white there and then do a little dab over the shoelaces and this little crease she's got in her boot. Then E55, so let's fill in the sole. And then let's soften our line. And the shoes have some little dots on there. I didn't worry about those. I just went ahead and um, filled them in. They're really dinky. I did try not to um, color the shoelaces, but you know, if I did, then I go back after and use my colorless blender to erase it a little bit. Next, we got E53. spot there for my E51. And again I go with my lightest color I tend to go over the whole thing. Kind of softens my lines a little bit. And then if you wanted your shoes to be darker you could just go over them a second time. So next, let's work on her shirt and her hairband. And for that, we're going to use YR 18, 15, 12, and double zero. I'm going to go ahead and start up here at her hairband. So let's go ahead with YR 18 first. And I colored a little bit on there, so this is perfect. That dark color is going to cover right over that brown. And a little bit on this side. I'm going to do a little bit less over here because her head's tipped up over on this side. And then I'm going to do YR 15 next. And then wire 12. And then I fill it in with wire double zero. And again, I tend to go over my whole area. And then if I want it darker, again, I go over it a second time. So next, let's go down here and we're going to do her shirt. So I'm going to start with wire 18. Let's do over here, underneath of her hand, start with her sleeve, that seems easiest enough. And I'm going to add a few little wrinkles in here onto her sleeve. And then let's go ahead and do, she's got a little, her elbow's bent right here, so I'm going to add a little bit of that color right here. And I'm going to go with YR15 next. Let's brush a little bit up here. And add some color down here. And then YR12, I'm just going to fill in this little section up here on her arm. It's kind of dinky. And I'm going to pull this around. And just leave a little bit for my YR00 right here at the edge. Because this is a pretty light color, so I just wanted to add it, just a little bit of highlights in there. 
So next, let's go over here to this other sleeve. And again, we're going to start with YR18. And she's got just a little bit of her shoulder showing right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little dab of color there. And then I'm going to follow these little dots she's got on her sleeve. And come over here and add that. And underneath of her scarf. And then YR15. I'm going to fill that section in and bring just a little bit out here. And then I'm going to start her cuff. And then YR12. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And her sleeve. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here. We'll do the body of her shirt. So again, I'm going to start with YR12. Or sorry, YR18. And then let's add a little bit right next to her sleeve. And I'm going to go right along the bottom of her shirt over here to this side. And then I gave her shirt a couple of little um, wrinkled areas. So right here on her shirt, she's got a little dip. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little dip and just bring it up like this. Okay, and the same thing for this little middle. It's kind of bumping up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pen and just add a little bit of a wrinkle there. And then over here where it dips in, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. Just give it a little bit of um, a little wrinkle in there. Next, we're going to go with YR15. I'm going to go right next to that. And again, go over the top of your little wrinkles you just added. And I go up a little bit more. And then I also want to use this color. Let me turn my girl a little bit more here. To go right along the edge of her hair and her scarf right here. Because her hair is going to be casting a shadow on there. Like that. I think I'll actually fill this little section right here in. Okay, and then I'm going to go with YR12. I just want to leave a little bit of white there in the middle of my little areas. Just for a little highlight. Not too much. Just a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to take YR00 and just color over the whole thing. Because YR12 to YR00 is quite a jump. So I don't want to leave too much white in there. Or you could also do um, the tip to tip method and um, brush your YR12 with your YR00 and jump it that way. Oh, and I forgot to do our little waistband right here. So let's go ahead and grab YR15. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow right here. In the middle, I think I'll add a little bit. On the side. And then we're going to go with YR12. And then YR00 to fill it in. And again, if you wanted her sweater darker, you would just go over the whole thing once again. So now let's go do our scarf, and for that I'm going to use BG 75, 72, and 70. I'm going to start with my BG 75, and let's add a little bit of shadow. So right here on this scarf, she's got a little dip in right there, so I'm going to put a little bit right there. And then on this side, I'm going to go and add just a tiny dab right along the edge on the bottom. Like that. And then over here, right next to where it's coming out, and there's a little line there. And then we're going to do above this scarf. And I'm going to go around these cute little ruffles like that. And then I'm going to grab BG72. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill in this top section. Brush on top of that a little bit. Fill in right here underneath of her hair. Let's see. We're going to want to bring this up. So let's go ahead and brush just like this up more into our space. Okay, same thing for this side. We'll fill some of that in. That. And then BG72 to 70 is a huge jump. So I'm going to take my BG70, I'm going to brush it onto my BG72. And then I'm going to use that. And I'm going to touch down on top of my 72 I already put down and flick up. Okay, and as you run out, you can pick up some more. 
and then as it runs out I'm going to go towards the top of my scarf so I can fill in this little area up here but it'll be way lighter. Same thing over here. I'm just going to brush that up. Grab some more as you need it. And if you're worried about it getting on and doing it with your pen, your tip to tip on your pen, you can also take and put the darkest color onto a piece of um, acetate or a CD case or an acrylic block. Okay, now I want to go ahead and go back over this again. So I'm going to take my BG72. And then I'm just going to go up from the bottom and flick a little bit of that because I'm not liking how this has this little line right there. And then I'm going to go again with my tip to tip on my 70 and soften that just a little bit. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. Okay, and then I took my BG70 and I just filled in these little ruffles at the end. So now let's work on the skirt in our mouse and for that we're going to use W5, 3, 1, and 0. And let's go ahead and start on her skirt. So I'm going to start with the W5 and she's got a couple of little areas here that her pleats and her skirt are, you can see the underside. I'm going to fill that in, my W5, and here's one over here. And you've got to get just the tip of your pin, that's a little small area. Okay, and then let's do right along her sweater, so just a tiny dab along that sweater. And I'm going to bring down, because her body's kind of leaning this way, I'm going to bring my line for this little hip over here down just a little bit. And then I also want to do down these little seams she's got in her skirt. So let's do that one, and this side, and this side. Just add a little bit of shadow there. Next I'm going to go with W3. So we want to soften that line, so let's just start over here. That seems like the easiest spot. I'm going to brush away from that edge. Same with this one. I'm going to come up here and brush along her sweater. And brush along that edge. Brush along her sweater. Along the edge. And I'm going to bring this side clear down to the bottom there. Like that. I'm going to grab W1, and we're going to fill some of that in. Brush, brush, brush. And then fill it in with your W0. And I think I want to add a little bit more contrast to our skirt, so I'm going to go ahead and get my W5 again. I'm going to tip my girl a little bit more here. So I can kind of flick a little bit better. I do better flicking away from me than I do straight up and down. It's kind of hard. Add a little bit more. I want her skirt to be a little bit darker here. Okay, and then I go with W3. Plus this way I can kind of, it, I can do my check marks. If I turn it sideways, I feel I have a little bit more control over my check mark kind of feel than I do if I'm just coloring straight up and down. Oh, that that's blending that line of light much better. And then W double zero to fill it in. Yep, that's way better. All right, so now let's go up here and work on Peanut, and we're going to start with W5, and I'm going to add a little bit of shadow right here in between his ear. Chip, just a little daub right there. And then I'm going to make a little line right next to where he's got a crease in his leg. Like that. And then he's got some shadows on his fanny, so let's go on that and down his tail a little bit. And around here where it's touching her tail, his body is kind of touching her hand there. That's it for that one. And we're going to grab W3. And we want to soften this up a little bit, so let's go ahead and brush over this a little bit. Brush down on his tail. Bring his fanny up a little bit more, and just soften that line. And then we're going to go with W1, and again I want to bring it down here on his tail a little bit more, and then brush
brush up on his body. Maybe add a little bit on his ear. And then I'm going to fill it in with W00. I'm liking him, but if you wanted him to be a little bit darker again, you would go back over him a second time. So that is Tilda with Peanut, and again, she's a card kit in the store, so if you want to head over to the store, you can grab her up and color along with me in the video. And didn't she turn out super, super cute? And then here is the finished card. Let's see if I can back up a little bit more. Very cute. And I went ahead and I added some, I think I put in her hair, I put some, um, Spick a glitter clear pen in her hair, and then I've got my Sharpie white paint pen. I added her cheeks, her little dots on her cheeks, and then she's popped up the whole, um, sorry, it's in this plastic thing. Um, the image is popped up on some pop dots, and then, of course, the little leaves here are tucked underneath, and they're, they're free. They're just, they're glued down here at the bottom, and then they're just free here at the top. And, of course, you've got your little heart and your little, um, half pearl there that you can add to your cute card. But I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.